Hey guys, Jordan here with Coalytics, and today I'm going to show you how to find the best paper allied companies with Coalytics. So let's get started. So step one, we're going to select small business for our targeting. We're going to select Dayton, Ohio, uh, is where we're looking today. I'm just going to increase the radius to 25. Uh, I'm increasing the radius because I feel like paper allied is a pretty niche industry. I'm going to add that. I'm going to hit next. Um, and for search terms here, we're going paper allied and we should get some hits coming up for our sanity check. So, uh, if you click on these, these will show you like the type of, um, paper allied, maybe I'm going to remove the dash. Um, this will show you the type of, um, next I'm going to select my industry so i'm going to type in paper allied and uh just make sure when you're um you know uh locking in your industry search term to just check some of these websites to make sure that these are the companies you are looking for with that being said i've checked this pre uh beforehand so i'm just going to add it uh, i'm going to hit next to lock it in key decision makers we have our owners and founders and we also want to target our director and executive just in case the owner has a c-suite title it'll cover for this case i'm going to hit next to lock that in and this concludes our targeting now i know paper allied is kind of a niche um it's a niche industry for sure so with the, the more niche industries i'm going to do less filters um and just whatever i get afterwards i'm going to filter by the data data metric but one that i do want to just highlight is the Google review. I want to make sure this company has between three and a five for their Google review. That way that you are, you are getting like quality companies in the sense that, you know, they're respected by their clients and customers. That's why they have this review score. So your benefit in all of this is that these companies will just be easier to work with and they'll have like a better expectation of your services that you're providing. Uh, with that being said, I'm going to hit next to lock that in. And we're just going to go to our deliver section i'm going to make sure i'm going to reset this but i'm essentially just adding all these data points as this is quite a niche sort of industry um i'm just going to make sure that i would like i'm making sure i have all these metrics selected so that i can filter after i get my lead sheet based on these columns um i can filter out what i want um and you know you have tons of things you have more like marketing related stuff with all the search term the ad pixels mm -hmm the social media profiles, the Google, uh, the Google um, review score and count and the profile and claim. Then you also have more sales related stuff like revenue head count and data established. So, you know, selecting all these uh, data points and they're free by the way, you know, there's no limit except for the direct dial for what you can select, but having a wider range of um, metrics to compare your companies and see what's a good fit, especially with like a more niche uh, industry like paper allied is like a win-win because you, you know, you can really dial down what companies you want to reach out to. Uh, I'm going to hit next to lock that in. We don't need any more additional notes. So I'm going to finish that up. Make sure you name your tasks, assign the credits. I'm going to just do a hundred for this example and make sure to save a draft before you launch it, just in case, uh, something happens and you have to go back and change something. You're not starting from scratch. And with that being said, I'm going to launch this task. This should bring us back out to our task overview. You should see that paper allied is allocating and um, you should get your lead sheet within 24 hours. So thank you so much guys. And I hope you have a great day. And I hope this helped you uh, find the best paper allied leads with cold lytics.